Now, New York City has issued a new vaccine mandate and mask advisory as concerns grow over the new COVID variant Omicron. This comes as the CDC has changed its guidance on booster shots, saying all vaccinated adults should get one. And Pfizer will reportedly seek emergency use authorization from the FDA on booster shots for ages 16 to 17. Today, New York City will start offering second doses at several public schools for ages 5 and up. CBS News' John Diaz live outside one of those schools in Gramercy Park with more on all of this. John. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Mary. And that vaccine bus already out here on location, as you can see right here behind me. Now, these vaccine clinics, these pop-up clinics were out here on location at certain schools a few weeks ago, but now they have returned back here uh, to administer the second dose of a COVID vaccine to these kids ages 5 to 11 years old. And health experts saying that this type of effort coming just in time. From Washington, D.C. to the local level, leaders continuing to warn everyone today the best defense against COVID-19 is a good offense, especially in the wake of the new Omicron variant. Officials are acting with urgency, knowing its arrival is inevitable. If it's not here already, it's going to get here. The variant has prompted New York City to double down on its advice to wear a mask. Now it's strongly recommending you wear one indoors in public places. As kids roll up their sleeves to get their second vaccine doses at public schools today, the Omicron variant has also helped prompt a new city mandate for all child care and early intervention programs citywide. It covers 102,000 employees, and the deadline to get vaccinated is December 20th. The goal is to protect lives. The goal is to reduce transmission, reduce the negative impacts. Uh, there's no question in my mind this is a strategy that should be used much more broadly. This is just the latest group of city workers to be given a mandate, and it's largely been successful with employees. The vast majority of them will ultimately get the vaccine. There's going to be a few people who really are holdouts. They're going to try to fit within the medical and religious exemptions. Few will succeed. At the state level, New York is seeing rising cases and fewer hospital beds. Governor Kathy Hochul has already declared a state of emergency. The trend is continuing in a bad direction. You can see that heading up. Again, not, the, not anywhere near what it was back in April. But there is no excuse. This should be flatlined. This should be going down because the vaccine is available. Following the Thanksgiving holiday, Connecticut on Monday reported the COVID positivity rate climbed above 5%, the highest in a single day in more than 10 months. Governor Ned Lamont saying, quote, this news of the Omicron variant reminds us about the importance of being vaccinated and getting a booster, going on to say we still need to mask while in indoor public places. And in New Jersey, COVID cases have been on the rise in recent weeks. The added protection from a booster is no longer just a bonus, it's a necessity. Governor Murphy and health officials are also closely monitoring the new COVID variant, but they're issuing the same guidance as before. We strongly encourage everyone to keep masking up when you're indoors and distancing is not possible, especially when you're with people whose vaccination status is not clear. And all three governors in our area are continuing to remind everyone that it is particularly important to use extra precautions when visiting loved ones who are older or immune and compromised. We are live this morning from Gramercy Park. John Diaz, CBS 2 News.